Hey everybody, it's John. I uh, wanted to take a moment and just do a quick video. Um, big Steelers fan, kind of growing up, and a Steelers sports car collector. And so when I heard uh, Franco Harris died today, I was pretty saddened by uh, what I had heard. I actually had seen uh, John Mangini, who's another Steelers fan, uh, kind of from the area, post a video earlier. And I um, figured I'd get home and I wanted to uh, share uh, just a couple of cards, um, not everything that I have in my collection, but just a couple of cards uh, from my collection and talk about one card specifically. Um, so just kind of sorted through and uh, I like a lot of Steelers fans have pretty much everything Franco during the playing days. Uh, not a lot of new stuff or modern stuff. I do have an autograph in the collection. Uh, of course have uh, the rookie card. Uh, and I really wanted to talk about two cards, the rookie card and uh, this, um, uh, who is this, not Hostess Bread, Wonder Bread card. <clears throat> First, the rookie card. Uh, I've had this card in my collection for uh, many, many years, and uh, as a kid, uh, this is one of two cards that are really special to me because my dad personally bought this card for me. Uh, he came with me down to a local card shop that we used to frequent. Uh, he's seen this card. He was a huge Franco Harris fan. He was a huge Steelers fan, much like myself. And he bought me this card uh, that day um, and told me just some stories of watching Franco. Uh, I was born in 78, so Franco was a little bit pre uh, my time. And so he had spent some time kind of sharing some stories about watching him, the Immaculate Reception, uh, and various games that he had watched. And the second card I want to share with you guys uh, is this uh, Wonder Bread card. And I got this card, it's probably been about 10 years ago now. Um, I actually worked with a guy named Franco Harris. Uh, I worked with a guy named Franco Harris who was originally from Pittsburgh of all places. Uh, and he grew up, he was slightly older than I was, but he grew up kind of as a kid uh, in the early 70s throughout the 70s and um you know having the same name you know he was the cool kid uh but big Steelers fan he had multiple cards of this when he found out that I was a Steelers fan um you know he gifted me this card um you know kind of as one fan to another uh, and so this card I've, I've literally held on forever uh you know, it's it's always special to get cards from people who mean something to you or when you get a card from somebody and it kind of takes you back to a place and a time, uh, whether it's an event, a sporting event, or whether it's, um, you know, the type of thing where, you, you know, the tragic death, um, in my mind, the tragic death of Franco and seeing that news this morning, you know, these two sports cards instantly came to my mind and those stories about these sports card came to my mind. So I just want to take a moment and share that. Uh, you know, we lost a great one today. If you're a Steelers fan, we lost a great one today. Um, I, I think Mangini also said this, uh, he's highly underappreciated within the, you know, lexicon of sports and, and professional football. Um, you know, I'm truly saddened, you know, uh, you know, best of wishes to his family. I, I think that we all feel that. Uh, in this moment in time, but uh, I just want to take a moment and share that story or these couple stories with you, and uh, we'll catch you guys uh, in the next video.